Do you want to install a custom ROM on your Motorola Moto X4? That's what we're going to do in this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey YouTube, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install a custom ROM on your Motorola Moto X4. What are the things which we need? You need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to have TwoUp Recovery installed. Make sure that your battery is charged at least 60 to 70 percent and make sure you've backed up your data because you're going to lose your pictures, videos. So make sure you've backed up all the important data which you have. Next thing, let us go ahead and go into settings, go into security and location and make sure you have removed your fingerprint, screen lock, face data, any of those security measures if you have set them up go ahead and remove them once you have removed your fingerprint pin password all those things go back go into accounts and remove your google account we're removing all these things because we're going from stock rom to a custom rom so i just want to make sure that you do not get locked out of your own device let us now go ahead and go into settings scroll down go into system go into about phone and bam there it is as you can see right now i am on android 9.0 pi stock and once we are done with this process i will be running a custom rom now with respect to the custom rom what are the things which you need so you need to have the custom rom itself for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to use aosip based on android 9.0 pi then you need the google apps if the rom doesn't have them already baked in so pixel experience for the motorola moto x4 has google apps baked in so you won't have the need to flash google apps for pixel experience rom but aosip does not have google apps baked in so we need the google apps zip file as for what version you need you need arm64 android 9.0 pi and i'm using the nano package then you need the copy partitions zip file and you also need the two up installer zip file we need to copy partition zip file because i'm not sure what motorola was doing but motorola moto x4 has ab slots but it doesn't have treble fully enabled we need the two up installer zip file because motorola moto x4 has ab slots which means that the recovery is part of boot image and every time you flash a new rom update your rom or flash a new kernel the two up recovery image file gets overwritten which is why we need the two up installer zip file all those things out of the way next thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and turn a motorola moto x4 off once we've turned the motorola moto x4 off we'll go ahead and press and hold the volume down button and at the same time press and hold the power button till we boot into fast boot mode once we are in fast boot mode we'll go ahead and use the volume rockers and once you see recovery over here go ahead and press the power button to select the recovery mode and at this point we should boot into two up recovery once we are into app recovery we will go ahead and click on install and the first file which we need to flash is the copy partitions zip file so we'll select this file and then swipe to confirm the flash once the copy partitions zip file has flashed successfully go ahead and click on the home button back onto app recovery home screen we'll go ahead and click on wipe click on advanced wipe and select dalvik data system and then swipe to wipe once the process has completed successfully go ahead and click on the home button Go ahead and click on install and now the first file which we need to flash is the AOSIP ROM zip file. So we'll go ahead and select this guy and we'll go ahead and click on add more zips and select the TWRP installer zip file. Why are we adding the TWRP installer zip file? Because once AOSIP ROM zip file has flashed successfully, it will go ahead and replace the boot image which means TWRP will be overwritten and we need TWRP recovery because we need to install Google Apps. Another thing to note here is that we have not added Google Apps as of now. We will add Google Apps once we're done flashing these two zip files. So now we'll go ahead and swipe to confirm the flash. Once the ROM and TWRP installer zip file has flashed successfully, go ahead and click on the home button. Now go ahead and click on reboot and note my current slot is set to A. Go ahead and click on recovery and then swipe to reboot. Back into TWRP recovery, if I go ahead and click on reboot, my current slot changed to B. This is because the ROM was installed to slot B. And now we'll go ahead and click on the home button, click on install and go ahead and select our Google Apps which is open google apps select this guy and then swipe to confirm the flash 
Once Google Apps have flashed successfully, go ahead and click on the home button. Now we will go ahead and click on wipe, click on format data, type in yes, and then go ahead and click on the check mark on the bottom right of your screen. Do note this is where all your pictures, videos will be lost. So make sure you have backed up your internal storage. Once this is done, go ahead and click on reboot system. And bam, there we have it, AOS IP boot animation in the building, which means we have successfully installed AOS IP on a Motorola Moto X4. The first boot up will take some time, so you have to be patient. And bam, there we have the setup screen. Let me go ahead and skip all of these things. And there you have it, awesome AOS IP wallpaper along with Google Play Store, which means Google Apps Nano were installed successfully. Let us now go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go into system, go into about phone, and bam, there you have it, AOS IP custom ROM running successfully on a Motorola Moto X4. So that's it for this video, YouTube. I hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.